Booyah! If I have to crack some skulls, I will. Ha 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 Am I too violent for you, Cupcake? Okay, gang. Private Jack here. We're going to talk about Gary's mod in this particular tutorial. Seeing a lot of questions in the discussion group. Where can we get the models? Um, how do we put them into SFM to get them to work? That kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you where to get the models, how to get the models, and how to actually put them into Source Film Maker so that they work. If you notice the content on this particular screen, one, two, well, there are quite a few models there that were from Gary's Mod. Anyway, with the uh, introduction of Gary Mod 13, uh, basically what has happened is the method of getting the models has changed. And although the Gary's Mod.org site still exists today, um, Gary has made it a lot easier to pick up mods via his workshop uh, page in the uh, game hubs. So let's have a look at the old method of getting things. Basically start a session of your favorite explorer or your favorite browser. Type in Gary's mod. Go to garysmod.org, this one here, Gary's Mod Related Files. And I don't think I'm logged in here. Let's see if we can actually download some files. We'll go to the download section, move down to a pack that we think that we might want. I saw some dinosaurs in here click on the, the dinosaur, download the file, and you must log in in order to download the file. So basically, in order to get a login, you have to buy the mod, and that's the way it is. So I'm going to log in. because I own the uh, I own Gary's mod or if they if you want to actually say it this way uh, Gary lets me use the program because I paid him for it waiting for this to load up. Here we go. Okay, so I'm logged in and it will allow me to download the pack now. I'm going to save this to my desktop. Nothing like having a T-Rex eating up the heavy in SFM. Okay, now the other method of getting mods, like I said, is through the community hubs. So we're going to go to a game hub. We're going to go to the Gary's Mod ga game hub. And again, I'm logged in. This, uh, the way that this works now is you log into the workshop, and these items that you see here are 
contributions by various artists and the good thing about this is that if an artist decides that he's going to update his um, files he re-uploads it to the hub and the next time you start Gary's mod the uh, the program reaches out to the hub and downloads any updated content I'm looking for a good model here that I haven't subscribed to okay MW2 Russian paratroopers let's have the dinosaurs chase the Russian paratroopers around now you see this little X or this little plus sign down here basically what this is is your way of subscribing to a particular item okay we'll call it an item once I click on this little icon here this will change to a check mark check mark means that I've subscribed to this particular workshop once I've done that I exit out of Gary's mod uh, uh, game hub I come over here and I launch Gary's mod There we go. Okay, as soon as I log into Gary's Mod, what will happen is the program will reach out to the Steam servers and it should begin downloading or verifying the various game files that I've downloaded from the work site. If it doesn't do that, what you do is you uh, this thing is still loading so I have to wait a couple of seconds here but what I should find is that there will be a little pop-up box come here and what it is is Gary's mod actually reaching out to the server to see if there's been any updates to any of the modules that I've downloaded there it goes So I've subscribed to all these, um, I don't know, cache files, if you want to call them, uh, on Gary's Mod's work, uh, workshop. And right now there's 70 different programs that I've subscribed to. And it's reaching out and it's touching each and every one of those to see if the author has updated any of the content if the content hasn't changed or I haven't added any new models to the downloads that I want what it will do is it'll just verify that the file sizes are correct that the um, that everything is right and if it isn't what will happen is it will re-download that particular module almost done and that was the Russian paratrooper now once this is finished doing that I should be able to exit out of Gary's mod I'll have a quick look at my downloads to see if there's any new content 
and as you can see right here it downloaded 73.4 megabytes in three files well you're saying well that's all fine and good well, how do I get these things into source film maker well let's start with the uh, zip file that we downloaded we're going to open the zip file and this is using the old method go to add-ons go to primal carnage and what you need to do is you need to come right down to where the materials and models live okay if I carry on down I'm gonna see all kinds of nice stuff and here are all the particular uh, valve material files for the Carnotaurus and what I need to do with these in order to get them into source film maker is pick up the materials and models folders go to source film maker oops wrong sorry hit the wrong button let's kill that I want to go to the uh, file directory and I'm going to go down to user mod now models may live or may not live in your file folder right now in order for Gary's mod um, models to work they have to live in the material and the models folders that's why you need to come to here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those two folders and I'm going to drag them to my user mod directory okay they're now in the user mod directory and it's kind of a good thing I did start source film maker because I need to go there create a session load a map and I'm just going to load stage Another source for downloading uh, custom content, uh, Game Banana. Go in and look for models on Game Banana. They usually have quite a few models there uh, that will work in Source Filmmaker. Uh, the same process applies. Okay, now that I have stage open, I'm going to create a camera. and now that I have my camera I can go in and I can create an animation set for a new model okay now in a plain vanilla install of source model uh, source filmmaker uh, there are only about 6046 models available I've just added more custom content to my user mod and lo and behold look at this here are my dinosaurs so let's grab a t-rex and pull them into the stage and look at that there's the T-Rex open up the motion editor and he came in halfway through the wall okay so let's drag him onto the stage except 
big model. Let's see if he actually fits on the stage. And there he is. Loud and proud. All textured. Everything's ready to go. Now for bones. Let's see if he'll accept a rig. I don't think they will. But you never know. No. Okay. If you try to apply a rig and you get this message, it means that the simple uh, biped rig that they've uh, made for the TF2 characters won't work. If you want to create a rig for this guy, you have to go and do it manually. And there is a quick blurb about it in the um, Source Filmmaker manual on Wiki. Okay, so that's getting them in the old style way. Now, what about these new files? Let's get rid of the Rex. Okay, so if you own Gary's Mod and you've subscribed to the to the uh, channel and gone to the worksheet, uh, work, uh, the workshop. In your user folder, you will find Gary's mod. You need to go to Gary's mod, Gary's mod, add-ons, and what you'll find is a whole rack of GMA files. These are something similar to a game cache file or a zip file or a RAR file it's, but in order to get at them you need a program that will read GMA type files. There is one out there it's called GMA Converter, and I've, ar I've already downloaded it and put it into a folder. What I do is I grab a hold of the model pack that I want and hopefully Star Wars or the Russian guys are here. Now I'm not seeing the ones that I want, so I'm just going to grab Ducks and I'm going to drag it into that folder that I had. I'm going to double click on the exe file. I'm going to convert a single file. Ducks. Files were extracted. It'll create a folder with the materials and the models in it. Also an info file giving the author his due. Now it's just a matter of taking these two folders and dragging them off to your user mod folder in Source Filmmaker. Now let's have a look and see what these guys are. MDL duck. Oh, it's a duck. Cool. Okay. have a shortcut 
to my source film maker on my desktop. Grab those two files, drag them down to user mod, open up source film maker again, go into my create animation set for new model, do a rescan. Come down here, type duck, and there it is. One nice little duck model for use in your movies. Put him down on the floor. And there he is. Probably just a root transform and a root. Yep. And that's how you get custom content into Source Filmmaker. This works on about 98% of the models that are out there. Where you run into problems is if a model has been reskinned to something else. Basically, what they've done is they've taken a model and reskinned it to something uh, something that already exists and didn't change any of the um, the the file directories for the materials or the model. When that happens, what you'll end up with is with a uh, clash and either one model will take dominance over the other or it may actually cause Source Filmmaker to crash. Other than that, that's pretty much all I can tell you about Gary's Mod and how to get, their, get the Gary Mod models into Source Filmmaker. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. If you want more, let me know. I'll see what I can do for you. And with that, I'm going to log out. Private Jack out. This is my intelligence, and that is how you do it, men. Now that is what I want to see. You've done me proud, hey, boys. Hey, oh. ah! Dismissed! <laughs>